today I will show you characters that are a must have in Genshin Impact. These are characters who are a game changer and will definitely help you out if you get them. Now, before we get started, let me tell you how I chose these characters. These are characters that I own, built, and used. I will not recommend characters if I don't have them, like Risley, or don't use like Baiju. I tried to pick characters that have different weapons, roles, and elements. Now, with that being said, let's get started. Coming in at number 6, we have Bennett. Bennett is a Pyro Sword user who is one of the best, if not the best, support in the game. Not only does he buff your team's damage, but he heals your on-field character. Lots of people use him to deal loads of damage and to hit big numbers. Bennett is a must-have character and if you have him but have not built him, you're missing out on some big damage. Moving on to number 5, we have Raiden Shokin. Raiden is an Electro Polearm user who is considered one of the best damage dealers in the game. Apart from dealing massive amounts of electro damage, she also can regenerate massive amounts of energy recharge, if you have the right build for her. She also serves as an off-field DPS as her skill stays active even if you switch to another character. At our number 4 spot we have Farina. Farina is a Hydro Sword user who has become one of the best characters in the game after her recent release. She is mainly used for her skill. Her skill stays active even if Farina leaves the field. Apart from this, you can use her charge attack while her skill is active and her skill will change and start to heal you. Coming in at number 3 we have Nahida who is a Dendro Catalyst user and who is another support unit. Nahida's playstyle is very different from that of other support units. Her kit relies on other elements to trigger elemental reaction with Dendro. Her skill tags the enemy with Dendro and depending on what element you use you will have a different reaction. There are so many different reactions you can trigger and that's what makes her fun and unique to play with. In a number 2 spot we have Neviolet who is a Hydro Catalyst user. Neviolet is arguably one of the strongest characters in the game right now. And for me, that seems to be true. His gameplay is very simple. Neviolet's main focus is his charge attack which deals massive amounts of Hydro damage. If you're looking for an easy character to use who will dish out tons of damage, Nebula is a must have. Now, before we get to number one, I wanted to include some honorable mentions that I still think deserve to be in this list. Our first honorable mention is Zhongli, who is a Geo Polearm user. Zhongli's main quirk is his shield, which can tank lots of damage if your Zhongli has tons of HP. Our second honorable mention is Kokomi, who is a Hydro Catalyst user. If all you want is healing, then Kokomi would be the best option for you. She can heal for insane amounts and still applies Hydro to enemies relatively quickly. Our last honorable mention is Hu Tao, who is a Pyro Polar user. She's a DPS who can dish out tons of Pyro damage using her skill and burst. Very simple character to use and overall one of the best Pyro units. And now at our number one spot, we have... Dea. Just kidding, it's Kazuha who is an animal sword user. Kazuha is one of the best crowd control users and also buffs your team with Swirl. Swirl, being an animal based elemental reaction, will combine with other elements to further boost damage. This can be enhanced even further if Kazuha's elemental mastery is high. Characters to get and will definitely help you out. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe so that way you guys don't miss another video. And until then, I'll see you next time.